I'm John Berryman from Healthcare Professions. I teach EMT and paramedic classes. I'm Raksha Patel from Academic Support. I teach preparatory mathematics. I'm Rob Fleischman from Communication and Humanities, and I teach Humanities and Music History. Well, it began when the three of us went to NISOD in Austin, Texas, and we actually attended a presentation given by one of the universities and how they used mobile technology in the classroom. Yeah, it was pretty interesting because they seemed to have, they wanted to incorporate to as a communication device where the students could text message each other questions or they could actually access uh, homework assignments and upload homework assignments using their iPhones. Yeah, and that really made me start to think and I, it really made all of us start to wonder how this technology could be, how can we expand on this, how can we use it to help in the, in the classroom with not only how we deliver our traditional PowerPoint presentations, but is there a way we can use this to engage our students and uh, even help them outside of the class? Well, in my classes, because I teach music history and humanities, I wanted to incorporate some of the various apps that we found out for our investigations. And it's funny because some of them look like toys, and I found out that actually they're really good teaching aids. A low pitch frequency, so a shorter amount of waves within a second, or a faster wave frequency. So that is pitch, high to low. Particularly for music, it's great because learning things in the oral world sometimes it's difficult, but when you add a visual element to it, it makes things much clearer. It has been an immense help for me and my students when I use it as a support mechanism. When a student emails me and needs help with a specific problem, I can actually work it out on my iPad and send it in a PDF, and it has been a godsend for many of my students. I guess with my classes being very science-based, that I can pull out 3D animated um, anatomy models and I don't have to physically bring those models to class I can have them all on the iPad. Real quick I want to take an interior look. We switch to this interior view and you can turn identify certain places so it really gives the students that visual um, as I'm talking about a disease process something like that so the students really get into seeing those 3D models. And um, being that it is a newer technology as we research and find things that we can use in our classrooms, it helps us improve our presentation, the way we deliver, you know, and keeping it fresh is very important in, in learning.